Dog owner to skin covering Labrador's eyes ban keeping animals. A dog owner who didn't get her Labrador skin condition treated has been banned from keeping animals for five years in one of the UK's worst ever neglect cases. Lisa Crossley, 45, failed to take dog Abby to the vets when she developed a painful rash on her face and it became so severe the tissue thickened into elephantine skin. This forced Abby's eyelids to fold in on themselves and rub against the corneas meaning she was in constant pain. A concerned member of the public tipped off the Rispka who seized Abby from Crossley, who is from Oswestry in Shropshire, and rushed her to the vets. Tragically, when vets finally examined Abby it was too late to help her and the dog was put to sleep. On Friday, January 18, Crossley admitted causing unnecessary suffering to a dog by failing to provide veterinary care. She was ordered to pay a total of £678 in fines and costs and banned from keeping animals for five years at Telford Magistrates Court. Crossley was also ordered to give up her two other dogs and seven cats. The court heard that between April 18 and July 14, Abby was left in constant pain after she had developed a skin condition. This condition had also caused an extremely uncomfortable condition called entropion which was affecting the dog's eyes. In these cases the eyelids fold inwards and the eyelashes continuously rub against the cornea causing constant irritation. Inspector Kate Parker, who investigated, said, poor Abby had an awful skin condition which was left untreated and this caused her condition which meant her eyelashes were rubbing on her eyes constantly, which must have been horrendous. Imagine how it feels when you have an eyelash in your eye, this dog had all hers in her eye and couldn't relieve her own suffering for months. She would have endured constant pain and would have been unable to see. It must have been terrifying for her and was one of the most upsetting cases I have had to deal with. The vet believes she suffered like this for at least three months however records show she had a skin condition dating back to when she was eight weeks old. During interview I asked Crossley how she could just sit at home and watch her dog suffer like that and she told me it was difficult, yet she still didn't seek veterinary treatment. The vet who examined Abby also found she had hip problems and due to her other chronic health issues it was decided the kindest thing to do would be put her to sleep. Inspector Parker added. It was so upsetting to see Abby in this state, she was such a lovely and affectionate dog. There is never any excuse to not seek veterinary treatment when a pet is clearly in need.